channel. I'm Jess and today I'm going to show you how to make Bailey, our mini holiday stocking pattern. Customize your stocking to feature luxury fabrics and even creative embellishments such as embroidery, applique, ribbons, and more for a professional touch. The Bailey stocking makes the perfect gift to be cherished for generations. Use it as a gift bag and fill it with small trinkets, candies, gift cards, or whatever you'd like. It's also an adorable size for baby's first Christmas. Be sure to purchase the pattern before taking this class. The pattern and your supplies can be purchased from our website or request them at your local quilt shop. Please remember to shop local whenever you can. So grab your supplies and let's get sewing. First, start by gathering your supplies. You'll need a piece of main fabric and contrast fabric. We'll be leaving most of this project raw edge, so some types of fabrics you could use are cork fabric, faux leather, faux fur, craft tex, and any other fabric that doesn't fray. Also, you'll find a helpful list of notions in the pattern, including a spool of sulky 40 weight poly deco thread. You can choose between a snap spool size and king spool. I love this thread because it's durable for all types of projects. It's great for both construction and top stitching, and it has a shine for a professional finish. I also recommend Clover Wonder Clips for this project, chalk or removable pen, a stiletto, a Teflon foot, and any embellishments you'd like to add. I'll be using faux fur to create this project today. This Sally Tomato faux fur is a realistic flocked fabric. This unique material will make your project stand out and appear to be made from real fur with no animals harmed in the process. Our fabric has been made with the highest quality natural fibers which give it softness, drape, and longevity. With a bit of love and care, your fabric will stay in great condition for a long time. So, for this type of fabric, because the fibers are glued on, I recommend using a Schmetz non-stick needle size 8012 or 9014. If you're sewing through several layers, you may need to lower your machine's tension and adjust the presser foot pressure to get those desired results in a quality stitch. I also want to share some other tips for caring for your faux fur fabric. Do not wash this type of fabric in a washing machine. Simply wipe clean with a damp cloth to treat the local stains. For more stubborn stains, add a little detergent to the soiled area and gently brush or wipe the stain in a clockwise direction with a soft brush or a cloth. Also, do not tumble dry this material. Instead, air dry for the best results. Also, you do not want to iron this fabric directly, so don't put your iron on this material. First, put your iron on a low temperature setting. And then cover with a press cloth or a scrap of fabric. Also, do not expose this type of fabric to the sun for a long period of time. One last tip is that it's important to note the direction in which the fibers lay, which is also called the nap of the fabric. You'll want to make sure the fibers are towards the bottom for the most natural, uniform look. You don't want to end up with your fur going in opposite directions on your final project. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and you're excited to start sewing with faux fur and incorporating it into your projects. You can find this material on our website or request it at your local fabric shop. So let's get started with our project. The first step is to embellish the main panel and the cuff. Skip to the next section of directions if you don't wish to add any embellishments to your main panel or cuff piece. Start by adding any embroidery, applique, quilting, rhinestones, ribbons, whatever you like to the main panels or cuff using your desired method. Visit our YouTube channel for some tips on adding embroidery, applique, and other embellishments, and also check out our blog for other tips and creative ideas. With wrong sides together, fold the main fabric piece B hang tab in half, aligning the long edges. Use sewing clips to hold the fold in place. Attach a fresh needle in your machine and a narrow foot is helpful for all of the top stitching, but you might want a Teflon foot to go over the different types of materials. So attach your desired foot to the machine as well. Set your machine to a three millimeter stitch length for all piecing throughout the project. 
Then top stitch the tab an eighth inch from each long edge. With wrong sides together, position the hang tab on one piece A main panel according to the pattern and align one short end of the hang tab with the top edge of the main panel. You can top stitch this in place or use a sewing clip to hold in place. Then you're going to fold the hang tab in half and position the free end of the tab to the left of the attached end aligning the short end of the tab with the top edge of the main panel. Baste the hang tab in place an eighth inch from the raw edge. And by positioning the short ends next to each other rather than overlapping them, there will be less bulk to sew through later on. Fold the bottom edge of each cuff piece to the wrong side. Use sewing clips or basting tape to hold it in place. Top stitch a quarter inch from the folded edges. Next, position the cuff pieces right sides together, aligning the bottom hemmed edges and the sides. Sew the sides together with a quarter inch seam allowance. After sewing, leave the cuff wrong sides out. With right sides together, align all edges of the main panels and sew together with a quarter inch seam allowance along the sides and bottom curves, making sure to leave the top edge unsewn. Trim the seam allowance around the curves to an eighth inch wide to help reduce bulk. Then position the cuff over the top of the main panels so the right side of the cuff is against the wrong side of the main panels. Align the top raw edges and side seams. Then sew the top edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the assembled stocking right side out. Fold the cuff down so the wrong side of the cuff is against the right side of the main fabric. Refer to the pattern for how far down to fold the cuff. Top stitch the cuff a quarter inch from the top folded edge and make sure that the hang tab is up towards the top. your project is complete. I hope you had fun making this adorable stocking and we can't wait to see how you customize it for your family and friends. If you enjoyed this mini pattern, join our monthly mini club for only $5 a month and receive a new mini pattern to your mailbox or inbox every month. These mini patterns are designed for all skill levels and they are intended to be a quick sew project. Most patterns will include a free video tutorial on YouTube such as this one. Share photos of your completed project using hashtag Sally Tomato and hashtag Bailey Stocking. We'd love to see your version of this festive pattern. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. And stick around for some more inspiration. We'll see you next time.